What's up, my name is Matthew and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Samsung Solid State Drive into your MPC Live. Check it out. What's up, so in order to do this, you're gonna need your screwdriver, you're gonna need your SS drive, and you're gonna need your screws. The screws you're gonna need are the M3x5s, and I was reading about it in the forums, so if you contact Akai, they'll send you the screws because it doesn't really actually come with the screws. So I haven't done this, I've actually bought my own. Um, I bought this whole kit here for like nine or 10 bucks from Amazon, but if you got time to wait, go ahead and try to contact Akai and see if they'll hook you up with some of the screws. If you look at the back, okay, here's the front. Go ahead and look at the back. This is gonna fall off every time. So I'm just gonna set that to the side. So if you go ahead and look at the back right here, we have this plate. This plate is removable. So I'm going to use this screwdriver right here and go ahead and remove this plate. There's four screws. One is here where I'm unscrewing it. One is here, one's here, and one is here. Okay, so now that I have all the screws undone, I'm just gonna remove this plate, set it to the side, and look at that. They actually have this covered up. All we see here is the SATA cable and the power cable. All right, it looks like it's all connected right there into one. So before I do anything with that, which I probably should have done this first, I'm gonna open this up here. All right, so there's a little piece of tape there. I just cut that open. I'm just gonna open up the box, pull this out here. All right, and this particular solid state drive has 500 gigabytes. Okay, right here is the solid state drive. Just pull that out. All right, it's nice and tiny, very cool. Now you can see right here, here, and here, and here are places to screw in screws. So you're gonna go ahead and put your screws in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set this back into its case right there for a moment. Flip this over this way. Okay. And then plug this in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that box under there safely gives it a little bit of cushion there and then I'm going to go ahead and line this up looks like there's only one way to line this thing up you can see there's a little smaller section and then there's a long section there's a small section and a long section so I'm going to go ahead and just plug that in just like so snaps right into place you can see right here 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 and here there are the screw holes right here, 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 and here are the screw holes here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach this to that with the, the M3 by five screws here. And then I'm going to attach the plate back on to the MPC. Now I'm not really sure if the order matters on how you do this. It might be easier to screw this first and then plug it in, but I just kind of went for it. So I'm going to go ahead and screw these screws in. And these screws are just, pretty much mount the hard drive onto the backing here. And then once you put the backing onto the MPC, it's gonna hold everything in place there for you. And I'll go ahead and put the links in the description to the particular screws I got here and the hard drive. So if you're uh, curious about that, go ahead and check out the links below. All right, so I tightened them just enough so that it's actually tight on there. You know, I'm not trying to force anything. I think that's pretty good there. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and kinda push this wire underneath here a little bit, make sure it doesn't really affect anything. And then I'm gonna screw this plate back in. And we can see how the plate lines up right where it was before. So I'll go ahead and find the screws that I didn't lose and screw those back in. All right, now you can see here, I have the hard drive installed. It looked just like it did before I installed it, except for now you can see four screws here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put my data dial back on there. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that there, empty project. Then I'm gonna go to my browser. All right, so now I'm in my browser. 
normally when I click right there, it shows up exactly how it is. So I'm gonna have to probably find a way to format this thing and then put it back in there uh, because apparently it's not showing up. All right, so what I ended up doing is actually taking my USB cable, plugging it into the MPC Live. I put the MPC Live in controller mode, as you can see here. And then once I did that, uh, you know, everything worked as normal. Then I came over here to the to Windows and then clicked on Disk Management. All right, so once Disk Management came up, you could see it was Disk 3. I just clicked OK there, and then I right-clicked on there, and then just went through the settings here, next, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then right here, I went ahead and picked X-Fact, and then I renamed it. Okay, you can see what I renamed it here. And the reason why I did x -Fat is because that's what Akai recommends. So if I need to access this drive on a Macintosh, I can do that and I can access it on Windows as well. And uh, I just went through that, renamed it, you know what I mean? And then clicked OK. And this right here, I'm just trying to show you, um, is it shows up. Here it is right here. So once I had it shown up, I went ahead and injected my S card all right so now we're done formatting the hard drive so what I'm going to do is go ahead and come back in here and go to the browser and go to places now we can see you know I have my internal storage I have my MPC 01 which is actually the SD card and then I have MPC SSD 01 which is right here and you can see right there you know we have access to all the files so what I'm going to do is come back over to the main really fast um, I want to try something over here. Let's see if I can save this file. So what I'm going to do is go right here to the MPC SSD01, click in there or touch in there. Um, and we have this option to create a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder. And then what I'm going to name it is just projects to get me going. All right. This way I have somewhere to save my projects. I'm going to go ahead and push do it. And right here I can name it, you know, test project one or what have you. Okay, and then I'm gonna click save. So that's saved into there. So let me go ahead and go to back to my browser, back to my browser, and then we can see right here, we have a folder called projects. All right, so um, looks good. So let me go ahead and click in there and then test project one. You can see right there we have the XPJ file and everything shows up. So if I click in there or push load, what have you, I can load up that project and um, that project's right there. We're good to go. All right, so there you have it. That's how you go ahead and install the SSD drive inside of your MPC Live, format it, and save projects onto there. So um, we're good to go now. I can go ahead and make as many folders as I need to. Make one maybe for samples, one for programs, one for projects, one for whatever I need, you know, and uh, and then I'll be on a roll. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give the thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. 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 Peace.